Hello and welcome everyone to IT Pro Guide. Mohammed Niaz with you. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Active Backup for Business, which is a backup and recovery software that comes free with Synology NAS. How to use it to backup unlimited Windows endpoints, VMware, Hyper-V virtual machines, and file servers without any additional software license cost. Before we jump into the video, I would like to invite you to a survey conducted by Synology. A link to the survey is provided below in the description of the video. One of the lucky winner will get a unit of DS220 plus Synology NAS, so just participate. It. When you want to own a backup solution or to provide a backup solution, the first thing we do is to list out the resources that you want to backup in an organization. So most of the organizations have a hypervisor based solution, uh, physical servers, then Windows endpoints, then cloud-based email solutions like G Suite or Office 365. And as a backup solution, also the organization wish to replicate and keep a second copy of their data in another location, maybe in other office location. When you want to provide a solution to a customer requirement like this or to own a backup solution for this requirement, then think about the license course that you want to pay. You have to pay for the endpoint licenses that comes with the Windows endpoint PCs. Then you want to pay for the CPU based licensing for your hypervisor backup. Then also the cloud based email solution backup need number of users based license. So this all adds cost and sometimes implementing a backup solution is almost equal to the cost of the solution. With the active backup for business, you don't need to pay anything for the license as it comes with the uh, Synology NAS. I bought it from DS920 Plus, so I don't need to pay any more license to backup my PC or the physical servers here or the uh, VMware virtual machines or G Suite or Office 365 cloud email solutions. So it allows us to backup unlimited Windows endpoint, unlimited uh, Office 365 accounts, unlimited G Suite accounts. So there is no limitation. So you don't need to worry when you grow in number of users or when you grow in number of virtual machines. You don't need to worry about the license. We have a lot of things to talk about active backup for business and the Synology DS920 Plus. We will cover one by one in the coming videos. In this video, the scope is limited to Windows endpoint backup. And in the coming video, we will see how to backup the VMware virtual machines, Hyper-V virtual machines, and how to backup 365 and G Suite also. So the device I use in this demo is DS920 plus Synology NAS. I have a 4 GB RAM inside and a 2 unit of SNV3000 series SSD NVMe that boosts the I.O. performance of uh, my Synology NAS. So let us start our demo. If you would like to know more about Active Backup for Business, you can come back to the Synology uh, website and you can find Active Backup for Business. A link to these websites are provided below in the description and you can see the Active Backup for Business provides solution for PC backup, then physical server, then file server, and also virtual machines in VMware and Hyper-V. And you can see the applied models here. So if you bought one of the disk stations or the Synology NAS mentioned in this list, you will get this active backup for free. So then you can backup your entire organization. So it provides also a backup solution for Microsoft 365. It comes as an add-on in the disk station. And you can backup also G Suite using this. There is a live demo provided by Synology using the disk station manager DSM 6.2. So you can simply click on the try free now and that will give you a 30 minutes free DSM 6.2 trial uh, session. You can get familiarized before you bought a Synology NAS and you can see like how it works and how you can use it, uh, how it's gonna fit for your environment. Now the Synology NAS demo page has opened. Let's click on the packet manager. Uh, you can see active backup for business. You can install the active backup. So it is very simple actually. And now the active backup for business is done. If you click on this one, you can see it is running. So now if you click on the application, you will find uh, active backup for business and that will open up the active backup. So you don't need to install an application on any machine. You don't need to find a space for this. You can uh, activate it from here, then you can start using it. So simply click on the uh, license agreement. Now it is activated. I have a registered account, so it's quickly activated. For this demo, I have a Synology box DS920 plus, so we will use DSM from that box. So let's switch to the demo environment. So what you see now is the DSM from my Synology box. Click on the package manager. 
then you can see active backup for business from the all packages click on the install button and install it so the installation of active backup for business inside our Synology has completed so the next step is to activate and for that click on the activate button that will take you to another page where you have to log in if you don't have a login credential then you can register it then you can activate active backup for business so accept the license agreement and once you complete the process you will get activated then come back to our Synology or DSM interface from here we can now add our devices to backup so in this demo I'm gonna show you how to add a Windows endpoint to this active backup for business so for that click on the add device then as you can see in the instruction what you have to do is you have to download 64 bit or 32 bit based upon your uh, system architecture download the backup agent then install it on the Windows endpoint then you can point active backup uh, to backup your endpoint Windows endpoint so let's see how to do that now I'm on the Windows endpoint I'm gonna run the Synology active backup for business agent setup so the agent installation is quite easy as you can see it just finished then enter the Synology IP address and username and password so that's gonna connect you this uh, Windows endpoint to your uh, Synology NAS and after that we can customize the schedule or the drives that we need to backup and for further edit click on the task name or you can navigate from the task window so once you click on the task name you can see the destination of this backup the destination of this backup is where the backup file is gonna save and you can see the file station automatically created a location to save my backup files then if you go to the edit option you will find uh, the customization options where you can see general where the entire device need to be backed up and also if I want I can back up my external devices also connected and from the schedule you can see that the the preferred time to run the backup and how many days you need to run in a week and you can select the weekend or daily or weekdays based upon your uh, preference and also you can initiate the backup by uh, event so a screen once the screen is locked or once the user signed out or during the startup and also the retention give you like uh, keep all the version or you can keep only the latest one or keep the latest version of the day so you have more control on the schedule and retention uh, when it comes to the endpoint backup so once you made your choice then you can click ok and uh, you can initiate the backup so as this is for a demo I'm, I'm gonna keep the uh, things default except the backup external device and you can see uh, there is an option to compress and encrypt so this adds security at the same time also it requires less bandwidth but this will add some overhead on the system uh, because this encryption uh, process is going to happen on the endpoint device so this will add a little uh, overhead but if that is what you need then you can uh, go ahead for that so now the backup has initiated so you can see I just right click and initiated the backup now the backup is going on let's pause this video for some time and we'll come back once it finished so now you can see the logs uh, that uh, the backup initiator and uh, whatever the tasks are going on so if you have any issue with the backup you can come to you can come to the log window and uh, find out what is uh, going on in your system so now the backup has completed successfully so look at the version you can see when the backup created now if you go back to the device and uh, click on the restore button you can see you have two options open restore portal or create a recovery disk let's open the active backup for business recovery portal and where you can see all the folders in my system and you can see that how fast it is uh, opening and how easy it is uh, to see your file so if you want to uh, download or if you want to restore some files you can do it from this point by simply clicking on the required files now as you can see that I'm gonna download uh, one of the file in the system uh, so just click on the download then save this is gonna save to the local machine and the same time I can click on the file and restore to the original location or I can change to a different destination so if you have a corrupted file or something you don't need to restore the entire system you can just go with the files so this give an insight to what you have in the backup and also you have options to uh, restore the file or you can option to recover the file to your preferred destination 
I will initiate a backup once more for the same machine to show you like how fast when you back up the second time and how you can restore uh, the different versions of your backup. So now the backup has initiated. Now you can see that the second backup is completed with less than one minute and the transfer size is 500 MB only. So only changes are backed up and this is going to help you in terms of backup window and also like you can initiate the backup, a full backup on the weekend. And on the working days, you only need to go for an incremental backup like this. So you don't uh, need to spend a huge uh, backup window. And also this will reduce the amount of bandwidth that you need to uh, spare in your organization. And you can see that, that the timeline gives me like what are the versions available and how far you are from the uh, current time. So now if I go and try to recover one of the files from this uh, machine, it will show me like the two versions are available and which version you want to uh, restore it so I can take the the version I need from the timeline below and I can go for the preferred time and the file which I need what you saw now how to restore the individual files from the backup to uh, the same system or a different system but have a corruption with the entire system and do you want to recover the entire system into a new system or to the same system then we use a recovery media so that we can create while the system is running so once you have the recovery media then you can boot the target system uh, from the recovery media then we can recover what you have in your active backup to the target system so let's see how to do that so click on the restore portal then from there click on create recovery media then select Synology active backup for business or recovery media creator that will take you to download some files so once you complete the download extract it and run it from the uh, machine that you already took the backup so it will create a recovery media with all the drivers that you need necessary while recovery so now i copied that recovery media creator to the endpoint windows endpoint then i'm going to initiate uh, the recovery creation i prefer to create iso and i have to give a location to store this iso then click create so this need a uh, windows adk so you can download it but you don't need to install the entire adk files in this you only need to select two options in this except the license agreement then you can see there are many uh, choices uh, by default selected you don't need to go for all you only need to select these two uh, that is windows pre installation environment then deployment tools so let's remove all other choices then click on the install button now the installation has completed so we can click on the create button and uh, create the recovery disk now the recovery media is ready so it only took like two to three minutes to create a recovery media so what you have to do whenever you create a windows endpoint backup you always uh, create a recovery media also and store it somewhere in your uh, disk station or some other place so if something happened to your machine you can boot with this recovery media and you can restore any backup that you have in your active backup. So as you can see now I, rest I restarted the target PC and I boot from the recovery media. Now I just need to click next. I have DHCP so the IP address it took automatically otherwise I can configure it from the top right. So I just enter the IP address of my Synology NAS and enter my username and password that gonna connect this device with the Synology Active Backup Recovery Wizard to my Synology NAS and I can see my machine the backup which I took and I have two versions so once I click next I have further choices like enter device restore or system volume restore or manually restore the specified volume so if you click on the manually restore specified volume you will find the volumes that are available in the machine based upon a version you can recover only c drive or d drive or the drive that you only need otherwise you can click on the entire device restore then click next that will also give you the choice to select the versions once you select your version and click next it automatically map the uh, selected uh, disks to your uh, target disk volume and you can simply click on the next button and that will initiate the recovery of your system so that is all in this video. So we saw how to backup our Windows endpoint using active backup that comes with our Synology NAS and I have uh, that comes with Synology NAS. So you don't need to pay anything once you have a Synology NAS. 
then you have active backup with you and with that you can backup unlimited windows endpoint and also it allows you to backup hyper-v virtual machines vmware virtual machines office 365 mailboxes and also g suite mailboxes so in the other video we will see how to backup this with uh, how to backup using active backup uh, how to backup our hyper-v virtual machines and vmware virtual machines using active backup that is all in this video thank you for watching this video and for more videos subscribe my youtube channel